happening everybody hope everyone's doing well out there Scott coming at you from the tackle shop here at saltwater scale models um, I want to thank everybody for uh, who's responded and uh, sent their addresses for the shop cards um, uh, they are in the process of being mailed out hopefully uh, hopefully today um, you know hopefully uh, uh, I'll get trading with some more of you guys, but anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Um, I got a ton of stuff going on. Uh, a lot. Of, some of it's been frustrating. Some of it's been great. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we'll start here with the. Uh, this is the twenty nine Roadster. This is actually part of Mutt Modeler's uh, Father's Day group build. Father's Day tribute appreciation build. Um, I have gotten pretty far with it. Let's see if I can pick it up here. Sorry about the camera angles, and uh, I, I just uh, I don't have a lot of space to work with. But I have wired my first engine. Um, so far, so good. I'm really, really happy with the way this thing is turning out. Um, I've just taken a lot of time. Uh, the the distributor was too small so I actually used um, I think it's a wheel insert uh, to, to do the wiring um, but uh, anyway really pleased um, you know I taped off and uh, hand painted the interior uh, I airbrushed the hub caps it's going to be the same body color I'll show you the body here in a second um, underneath just pretty much straight ahead no weathering um, just uh, just pretty much box stock um, but uh, yeah anyway just wanted to give you a heads up on the the roadster for my for my dad man it's uh, you know he helped me he helped me pick it out and uh, um, it's just uh, it's turning out really great I have had some issues with the body um, I'll show you the body here I'll have to readjust the camera here in a second this is gonna be a little shaky but bear with me guys um, here's the body I've already stripped it once I uh, I'm using the Tamiya X13 metallic blue and um, so far it's turned out really well I do have an issue right here got a little bit of a, I guess you'd call it sort of a sink mark if you can see which is uh, it's really bugging me um, I don't know if I clear coat it maybe you guys can tell me if I clear coat it if it'll it'll take away that you know you can see that little the dip mark there maybe I got the paint on a little thick I don't know but uh, anyways I'm pretty happy with the finish like I said I've already stripped it once I haven't clear coated it yet uh, the reason I stripped it before was when I did clear coat it um, I guess I put it on a little too heavy and it fogged up and I saw a couple of things where you could use a, a heat gun uh, you know I tried using a hair dryer and it just it just you know I guess maybe I got too close and it just bowled everything up so I stripped it down repainted it um, so yeah there is the 29 Roadster for uh, for the Mutt Modeler build man um, I'm really I'm really glad that he's he's holding this uh, I may have mentioned in one of my earlier videos you know I, I guess like any uh, any father um, and son relationship you know we've had our we've had our ups and downs but uh we've uh you know we've recently uh gotten real close and and uh, uh I'm, I'm just really happy to to be able to do this with him so there's that let me readjust the camera here again i'll show you what else i got going on uh let's see real quick this is my second wired engine uh once again you know for uh, using the pin vise I found the distributors to be way too small so this is actually a little piece of um, I used to make bracelets and, and, and jewelry and stuff and it's just a little extra piece of uh, uh, ah, jewelry I guess some sort of beaded kind of thing so I thought that would uh, that would work out pretty well I know I know you know you guys who 
who are professional wires and, and uh, you know I'm sure it's probably not in the correct order and all that good stuff but uh, um, for my first couple of tries I'm, I'm really happy so this is actually the engine from uh, here hang on a second oh, what is it it's one of the one of the problems I've been having um, it's a I think it's a hang on guys boy sorry about this Where'd the box go? Ah. Holy crud. Ah, I misplaced it. Um, it's, a, it's a Riviera. And um, one of the problems, I, I got it at a recent show, and it was open box. And everything was in the bags, but it seems that an entire bag is missing. So uh, I'm a little, little frustrated with... Uh, with the fact that um, I'm going to have to dig through a box of parts to to try to find everything, front seats, front suspension, uh, I don't know. So anyway, I just uh, I'm going to keep running with it. Um, but there's that. Uh, and the last but not least, I think I showed you the interior before the front wheels fell off. This is um, the the Chevy. Uh, Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry guys. I got distracted there for a second, but um, I think I showed you the interior before uh, The front wheels fell off. I still haven't replaced them. So this is still still in the works um, Really really happy with uh, the way this one's turning out also uh, I don't know if I ever showed you yeah the bottom like I said no weathering on these just uh, just trying to build build clean do something a little outside my comfort zone, but um really happy with the direction that this has taken let me show you the body once again having issues um, you can see up here this was my own fault it fell while it was still wet picked up a little bit of crud but uh, it won't be so bad right here uh, there is the convertible part that's going to cover that up but I am going to have to sand down the rest of this hood clear coat it again um, so I've been having some issues with, the, with this finish uh, Everything here is bare metal foiled, so I've been uh, practicing on that, and uh, we're pretty happy. Um, it's just uh, just a, a matter of taking your time and using an incredibly sharp blade, as as you all know. And and I'm not telling you anything new. You guys, uh, you guys are the ones that uh, who taught me all this. So, anyways, so there's three different projects that are in the works. Um, uh yeah just wanted to give you a heads up hope you guys enjoyed the video um uh, i am going to do a short video pretty quick uh i took the tex-mex if you're not familiar with the tex-mex if you go to my youtube channel and click on new subscribers i think there's like the best of 2016 uh the tex-mex truck i took it to my first show and uh actually got second place in cars so that was pretty uh pretty exciting um you know it is what it is you know uh, you know I don't uh, I never ever thought that this hobby would take me this far and, and that I, I would get as obsessed as I am with it but um, it was just really nice to, to you know have some some people say hey man that's pretty cool we dig it you know so anyways guys uh, there you have it the Roadster the 57 Chevy convertible um, the Riviera, which is, uh, um, I don't know if, um, I'm sure I'll make it work. I've got, I've got a million parts, you know, in, in a box, so we'll, we'll try to make that happen. But, uh, I've also got, uh, uh, God, what else do I've got? Uh, I think I've got the Hemi Cuda. That's, uh, I, I, once again, I'm, I'm having some finish issues, man, but it's all part of the process. So anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the sloppiness. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick update, and uh, yeah, peace, love, and happiness, my friends. Like I said, shop cards, hit me up, you know, PM me, uh, hit, hit me up on the email. I've got 50 of them, and I'd love to start uh, doing some more trading with you guys. So, hope everyone's well, um, and I'll say it again, peace, love, and happiness. All right, guys, I'm out of here.